Good morning. Do another <laughs> edition of the Morning Cup. Yes, yes. It's Friday. Yes, it is, <laughs> but it's not our Friday. No, <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> it's not our Friday, though. What do you mean it's not our Friday? It's Friday. Uh, we have a bunch of events that we're covering. Yeah, but that's fun. It, it is, but it's still work, and we have to wake up early. I know. Uh, yes. Why? Because we're covering shop with a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Renee says, good morning. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Renee. Good to see you. <laughs> Somebody just had a bucket load of realization or reality dumped on his head. I don't like it. <laughs> well, it is necessary that we cover these things it, it because has, it's cool. Yes. I like the shop. And it's important. Cup. Yes, it is. It is. I, is. I like the shop. That's, that's actually a cool thing. And this is the first year that I've been in a community where I've known about something like this. What do you mean? Well, well, last year it's like a nationwide. I, I, I realize it is. I, nationwide. I, is no, no, on I'm, your I'm, side. I'm talking about um Ooh. and and yeah, I'm completely ignoring you. Um, <laughs> it never happened. Uh, <laughs> Man. Um, no, like last year. Um, we didn't find out about the shop with a cop during Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the, this is the first year in a community where I, I've known, um, about shop with a cop number one. Well, not the first year with shop with a cop, but, um, the shop with a cop during Christmas. Okay. I, I, I don't know what to say to that. It's a cool thing, man. It is, but they do it all the time everywhere. I I, I realize. Apparently, you it, had your head in the sand. Uh, no, no, yes. I did not. Yes. No, you never heard of it before until now. Well, I heard of it here in in town in uh, in okay. Page uh -huh. before, but not the Christmas one. Not the Christmas. Not but the Christmas. That's the one. only one I've. Never mind. Okay. Oh, well. Shh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm mixing coffee with a cop. Apparently, ah! yeah. Ah! I was gonna say ah! I don't know what ah! on friggin' ah! earth. You are smoking, <laughs> but every police department and fire department in the country does <laughs> shop with a cop on Christmas. I, I, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you, but damn. <laughs> okay, so. Have some more coffee, Lois. <coughs> Apparently the, the gears have not oh quite my goodness. meshed. Uh, no, it, it, for some reason I was thinking coffee yeah, with a cop. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. No, uh-uh. So, all the stuff that she just spent the last five minutes stumbling over, please ignore. <laughs> okay, Welcome so to the, the, the show is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you were just talking and I'm I like, was, what? I, I knew what I was meaning, but apparently I didn't <laughs> know what I was meaning. <laughs> You're having a me moment today. I, I am. I what am. Is, oh, I, was, I, I was completely lost. I'm like, <laughs> oh. like, where have you been living? Under a rock? Maybe yes. it's California. Uh, but I think uh, even in California, uh, Stan, they have uh, shop with a cop uh, during Christmas time. Oh, my goodness. Just say so, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, good morning. I, good so morning. So how early is early for you guys? I, I don't know. Uh, this morning was before five for me. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, ah. And I woke up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, Gina says, uh, good morning, good morning, Gina. Good, good morning, to see Gina. you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Renee says, so sorry, but reality bites sometimes. It, it, it bites does. all the time. It stings. <laughs> I need some ointment. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then says, okay, Chris, don't be mean. I'm not being uh, mean. No, no, he's not being mean. <laughs> I was just, I'm like, where are you going with this line of reasoning? You have completely derailed everything. And I was starting to question your sanity. I think I need to be banned for making the coffee. I know, right? It must right? have been too weak this morning. I said, sounds like, have more coffee, Lois. Have more coffee. Yeah, not being mean. I was just like, what on earth are you talking about? If you guys uh, aren't behind the hat on, or subscribed to Behind the Hat Unplugged, stuff like this goes on Behind the Hat Unplugged. Yeah. Oh, so, yes. yes. I am a bully. Uh, no, you're not. But, oh, come uh, on. You're ruining my reputation, <laughs> man. You're ruining my reputation. Yeah, yeah, you get to see us doing weird stuff. You get to yeah. see the dogs doing weird stuff. And all kinds yes. of behind the scenes. Shenanigans. 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 
<laughs> now I'm having a you moment. Yes, you are. <laughs> need some so, um, gear oil in my is, Yeah. <laughs> Renee's agreeing with you that I need more coffee. Yes. Yes, Renee says, more coffee. <laughs> and Ann says, yep, agree with Renee, more coffee. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Apparently you do. I need to be banned from making it. It apparently was not strong enough this point. Yeah, and you might as well not have. I could have done it because you waited long enough. Oh, what do you mean I waited long Well, if you wake up early, then that means the other person should be expecting the coffee to be done when they wake up, but it wasn't done. Oh, my. Just you that. woke up like five minutes after me. Chuck, chuck. The coffee maker is not that fast. <laughs> well, you better make it that fast. Oh, you are living in such your own world. <laughs> <laughs> You're just now realizing that I live in my own no, world? No, no, I'm just putting it out there verbally. I was going to say, i got a whole universe of crazy going on right here. Oh, my goodness. Right between the ears, man. It's a whole other oh. level. Ed says, uh, yep, Renee is correct. More coffee. Yes. Must uh, Evidently, I need to get an espresso machine. <laughs> yeah, although that I think that takes too much hand-eye coordination early in the morning. Yeah. And I could see severe burns or, or other... Kind Issues. Of, uh, we could put that on on unplugged. Uh, uh, no, no. Yeah. Ah, it burns. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> People don't need to see me flailing about in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I find it entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our audience might. Oh no. I'm just saying. I don't know, man. And says, uh, use instant, uh, then you can use multiple heaping spoonfuls, and it's less acidic. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of uh, of the instant coffee, although, you know, in a pinch. And, and and when I say in a pinch, I mean when I was out in the field, when I was in the Marine Corps, they have the little packets of yeah, instant yep. coffee, and you just open it up and put it in your mouth and then take a swig of water. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, because that's all you have time for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it works. You know, in a pinch. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> I just found it easier to go without. Yeah, well, you know. It was one of, it that's, was, what, that's what we did, man. Yeah. And then if you wanted creamer, you'd you'd do the same thing. You, after you have your coffee, you put the creamer in your mouth and wash that down. You're like, yeah, look at me, I'm civilized. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we did it, man. That's how that <laughs> stuff works. Dave says, uh, true, it is coffee etiquette. First one up has to be really quiet as to allow a sleeper to not be awakened until the coffee is I done. tried. Yeah. I did. I did. I tried. And, I have a spidey sense, though. He, he does. He does. He, yeah. he, he'll, he'll, there's this, there's what, a disturbance in the farce, as you call it. Yes, a disturbance <laughs> in the farce. It, yeah. 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 <laughs> Gary says, TGIF, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Gary. How are you guys doing? And all you guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on these videos. We yes. see you. Yes. There's none up there yet. Keep pushing the buttons. What do you say? Destroy the Zuck? Destroy the ah, Zuck. Ah. He's like the Death Star, man. Somebody needs to get a proton torpedo and use ah. the force and jam it where the sun don't shine. And the only oh, way you no. can do that is by liking, commenting, and sharing. <laughs> There we go. Ding! We got one. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Plus, we like seeing the little things float up in, in, uh, uh, yes. in the thing because it makes me laugh. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but anyway, oh so, so I, I've been derailed. Where was yeah, I going with that? Uh, oh, yeah, we have to wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> yes, we do. But it's not really early, is it? Because what time is the thingy? I, th oh, I have to double check, but I think it starts at like 7 or 8. A 7 or 8? Okay. That's not early for us. N no. But That's for like mid-afternoon, man. Uh, for a weekend. Yeah, that means we actually have to start moving our sloth-like yes. bodies about. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, look, see, look, we got a whole thing of, of laughing faces there. I like it. Thank you, guys. Woo Thanks, guys. It's much more better. Yay. Oh, let's see. Oh, Anne says, more? Taster Choice makes a special dark roast that's pretty good. Well, there you go. You know what? I will have to compare it to uh, yes. the Marine Corps days. I'll pop open a packet or get a teaspoon full and... And I can compare it that way. That is... That is true coffee connoisseurism right there. I'm just saying. No, it's not. That's you cannot get more pure than putting them coffee crystals right in your mouth and taking a swig of ice cold water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. That's just caffeine desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Call it what you want, Lois. <laughs> Call it what you want. That is not a what? coffee connoisseur. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I disagree. <laughs> I'm right. Oh You're my! Wrong. Oh goodness! <laughs> oh, we're starting so, this today. What's that? Ah! I know. <laughs> so yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, this is uh, the morning cup. This is our uh, our uh, weekday morning 
Cheap Entertainment, warning yes. this show is for entertainment purposes only thing here from Paige, Arizona. Yeah, that you can even watch at night. Yeah, if you can you watch it whenever you want. But it's live and funny in the morning because we can talk with you guys. Uh, yes. Which yes. is way more fun. It, 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 is, it, is, it is fun. We're uh, 7 to 8 o'clock Arizona time, which is the only proper time in the entire world. Oh, goodness. What? Goodness. No. <laughs> If you have time changes, well, that's on you. <laughs> and if you want to know what time that is in your time zone, look it up. Because no. I have no idea. And I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh, I broke those. No, you didn't. Oh, is there more comments? Oh, no. Uh, let's go another. Ed says, if you need caffeine, black tea is pretty potent. Yeah, yeah it is. Tea, Earl Grey, halt. Uh, yeah. I need a replicator. <laughs> I want a replicator. All right, start anyway. making one. <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, Carrie says, I'm borderline homicidal before my first cup of coffee. Even the dogs tiptoe until they hear the beep of the coffee pot. Well, yours is the beep of the coffee pot. They know that if I have not at least finished one cup, they will die. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> and Renee says, I don't, uh, I don't like crunchy coffee. Me either. But if you put it in your mouth and just set it all on your tongue and don't chew and then add the water, you can swish it like mouthwash and then swallow it. You're fine. Ew. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, then it's not crunchy. Uh -uh. <laughs> not happening. Just saying. Not happening I was trying all. to help out, man. <laughs> I was trying to help out. I'm right there with you, Renee. It, it needs to go through a brewing Don't process. Don't knock it till you... It has gone through a brewing process. No, it That's, has not. Yes, it has. That's how they make their coffee crystals. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, I meant through your mouth. That's the brewing You're, process. No, it's not. The brewing process is in your mouth. That's why you take the spring of water with the taster's choice in there, and then you swish it, and then you swallow. Oh. And then, like I said, if you want the creamer, it goes in afterwards. Mm -mm. Unless you like a little bit of sweetness, then you can get a little packet of sugar. I wouldn't recommend doing it with uh, any of the artificial sweeteners, though. That may kill you. <laughs> what? No. Just, no. If, if, I'm, I'm, never mind. I'm not going there. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> They've got all kinds of stuff going on this weekend. Yes. Well, most and it's actually, I was going to say, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Ah, I can't believe it's all in one tomorrow. day. <laughs> you know, for such a little town, we got a lot of stuff going uh -oh, on. Oh, we do. We, do. we got, there, there's the. And it's all in one day. Coffee shop with a cough. <laughs> Lois. Oh, my God. It's shop with a cough, ah! which is around the whole country, <laughs> except <laughs> for in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> they've, got, they've got the whole, uh, there's a parade of lights tomorrow. Oh, yes, there is. Parade of lights. Yes, there is. You know, they had, it, they had it, the parade of lights was done for for a long time, and then they canceled it, and it was gone for a long time, and then they kind of brought it back, and then it went away, and now it's back, and they're trying to make it big. So, get your butts out there and make sure you watch the parade of lights. Uh, yes, yes. If we want to have it every year, make sure you're there. Yes. And if you're not, at least watch it here. And don't forget to hit those buttons. Yeah. <laughs> and make fun of us for being out in the Yes, place. we have to give the Zuck a, uh, a an emoji enema. Oh! <laughs> so the more you hit it, the more his head puffs up with emojis because it's going up. Anyway, we're going to... I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> Wrong show! Wrong <laughs> show! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Anne says, like Pop Rocks. It's very similar, uh, but not as poppy. Uh, I liked Pop Rocks. And uh, let's see, Anne says, I think a five-hour energy would be easier. No, it's the wrong flavor. It That stuff tastes like mouse piss. We talked about... <laughs> mouse piss. I don't want to know. Uh, well, I don't want to yeah, know. That, that's going to be the question. I don't want to know. That's going to be the question. They're going to be like, how do you know what mouse piss tastes like? I will tell you why I know how mouse, mouse paste, piss tastes like. I will tell you right now. Because I, I am in low voltage in telecommunications, which means... I dig ditches, crawl in attic spaces, and under houses. And when that dust floats in the air under houses and in attic spaces, it has a very pungent odor and a very unique taste. And that would be powdered mouse pee. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's how I know. A lot of people ask these things. I have to inform our, our audience. And several Although other it diseases. is mixed with, with a fine coating of mouse poop. <laughs> so... <laughs> And then if you have cats that get into your house, there's a whole other thing. I know, I know what litter box tastes like. I'm just saying. Hi! <laughs> no. Hey, what? No. I'm just saying. <laughs> People are probably out there like, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, probably. It's not a, you know what? It's worse than you think it is. <laughs> and there's gonna... probably several diseases attached to that. Yeah, you got like <laughs> hantavirus and this and that. 
And it's fine. You build up an immunity. Right. It's like oh, Iocane what? powder. I spent years sampling it piece by piece, building up an immunity. Oh, okay. I can't <laughs> believe you just quoted <laughs> what you said, Sprite. Yes, I quoted Princess Bride <laughs> with inhaling mouse pee. <laughs> I did. I was there, man. I was there. Oh, and speaking of which, so, so once again, Anne was talking about the five-hour energy. I hate that stuff. <laughs> so that's why I went into the mouse pee analogy. That stuff is nasty. It's like, you know what? That's like directly oh. trying to pickle your innards. Oh. <laughs> All right, and now Dave says that the original cold brew, very trendy these days. Chris, you are way ahead of your time, right? See? <laughs> exactly. I invented something else that I don't get credit for. <laughs> Darn it. You know, I invented rollerblades back in the day. Oh, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> Here we go. I was there. Oh! <laughs> And uh, Gina says, uh, used to be in the lake. Hmm, I'm going with mouse pee. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I, it's actually more people pee than mouse pee. But, uh, David says, oh, uh, no, the, parade the Parade of, of Lights. Oh, the Parade of Lights on the lake. Oh, that would be epic. It, Although, apparently I, they did it. Yeah, I, I don't know how few. well that would work nowadays because I don't know how many people you could get to actually go out there. It, yeah, it's way too cold. Yeah, it's chilly. We were down there. It's, well, we're, gonna, we're not there yet. There, Lois. Shh. <laughs> And Ed says, uh, you know they make uh, masks for that. Uh, doesn't mouse pee cause... He doesn't <laughs> wear them! I wear them sometimes, but when you're under there, and, you know, it's like 200 degrees outside, it's that hot under the thing, you can't breathe with the mask. you got to be able to function. And sometimes you just can't wear the mask and actually get the job done. And uh, it's not the mouse pee that causes the hunter. There's other stuff in the dusts. And it can, yes, but not all the time. I'm not dead yet, so I'm going with, uh, you know, warning this shows for entertainment purposes only. Uh, but, no. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It's just the reality of the situation. We can't always, you know, sometimes the job takes priority. You know what? I would believe you with, no. with that explanation. Uh, what? Except for the fact that you know you are allergic to tumbleweed. Yes. And we do have tumbleweed that decides they're going to pop up around yes. the house. And you still refuse to wear gloves and long sleeve shirts. No, I wear gloves. I just don't wear the long sleeve shirt. Because it's hot. <laughs> just saying. It's 120 degrees outside. I don't want to wear a long and sleeve shirt. And you could wear a long sleeve shirt outside for five minutes and be just fine. No, <laughs> no I, want, I want that. So, and I don't Gina... believe your whole, it's too hot, I can't breathe. <laughs> Gina says, now we know what happened to you, Chris. Mouse beep. <laughs> yes. That is why I am insane. And then it says uh, they have washable cotton ones. Yeah, I know. They've got all kinds of different masks. And I do use them occasionally, uh, especially in attics, because the fiberglass up in there sometimes is outrageous. It's just nasty. Or or the, my favorite. My favorite is that blown cellulose junk, man. That's, oh, bleh. I don't care what the R value of that stuff is. It sucks if you got to go up there and work in it. I'm just saying. Oh, what the... What? What, what the? What's going oh, on over there? Gary, what in the? I'm uh, right there with you. Friends. <laughs> 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 Gary says that the young generation, aka my son and his friends, were snorting instant coffee. What the bleep? Why? I got you one better on that. We were talking about this last night. I know people that used to crush up caffeine tablets. You know, like Vivran, and they we would snort that. Like, what are you doing? An ex of what are you doing? An ex of mine used to smort. Uh, smort? <laughs> What's a smort? You tell. What is a smort? <laughs> oh, I must know. What is this smort? Yes, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it used to snort sugar packets. What? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> and and the artificial ones, the artificial sugar. <sighs> he he put it on the table and he used to snort it. All right. Well, uh, I just, do have to one up you one more why. time. I have to one up you one more time. There is a relative of mine who used to crush up Smarties candy and snort that. We will not go into who that particular I individual know who was. That is. But he crushed I'm up Smarties. You're still alive. He crushed up Smarties. <laughs> Can you imagine with that much just... sugar up there with the infection level in your brain? I mean, wow. I have issues just breathing air. Uh, this is true. I've heard you almost I, die I, on I, that. I, it's called an air zone. <laughs> I just, I, I Air couldn't. bones, water bones, spit bones. You just, you just <laughs> die choking on everything, man. I do, I do. <laughs> it says, uh, ow, that would be painful. Uh, no, kidding. I just, don't want I just uh, mm -mm. no, no. no. Uh -uh. Not my idea. Yeah, that's, see, that's like directly Thanks. concentrating and inhaling stupidity. Quit it. <laughs> 
What's wrong with you people? I'm like, oh, this is gonna be cool. Is it? You know what? It's 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 the younger generations of here. Hold my beer. <laughs> That's go. what it is. Hold my beer. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh it's bad for your goodness. safety and your health. Oh. <laughs> I just uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Renee says smorch. Exactly. Yeah, right. We're like. What? Like I said, I need to be banned from making coffee. <laughs> and Gina says, apparently snorting gets it into your brain and bloodstream faster. This is true. It doesn't matter. That's just no. Stop it. Air. No. Air only. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it's supposed it's to go air in. air intake. <laughs> <laughs> and David says, uh, and they did not make that person start. Uh, that start date, did they? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. There's lag. <gasps> what you, uh, we'll have to we'll have, uh, clarify, David. Oh, uh, what, oh, snorting the smarties. Oh yes. Yeah. Did, did they make it make him smart? Did they make him smart? <laughs> <laughs> Bleep! <No. laughs> Definitely not. Maybe that's what he thought it was because it said smarties. He's like, I can freeze this stuff. Don't do it, man. It does not make you smarter. As a matter of fact. In the eyes of most of society, you have just lost all IQ and any other kind of points you may have had. I'm just putting it out there, man. Not a good thing. Don't do it. Oh, you're wounding the show's through entertainment services only. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I think osmosis would work better. Yeah. I mean, you'd have better chances. So osmosis, you just crunch it up, rub it on your skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get a Smarties patch? Or maybe a Taster's Choice patch. You just slap it on there. Yeah! I got me some caffeine! I think that would... Yeah, I think you'd have better luck with that. And David clarified for a Smart... Yeah, we figured it out. It's early, man. I'm sorry. We're like, huh? Wait, oh, that's what you're doing. Oh, man. Uh, Anne says, I have extra sinuses, so that would send me into a fit. Oh, you I have could, enough problems with your own normal sinuses. I do. If you I had do. extra, you'd be toast, man. I would. I would. I, I, I do. I, And I don't know what has happened, but since I hit a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're trying to hide it. <laughs> no, have you started I, counting backwards yet? No, no, I haven't. Oh, um, okay. I'm not going to count backwards. But oh, okay. No, when I hit around 35, mm-hmm. that is when all the klutziness just like landed. <laughs> I don't believe you. I think you've been this way your whole life. No, I have not. Whatever, man. <laughs> I have heard stories. There is no way that clumsiness is just uh, coming up no, now. No, it just, it was just like flat path. I'd have moments <laughs> every, yeah, I'd have moments every once in a while, but nothing like I do now. <laughs> you know, I just, no. I mean, I you figure, I went into the military twice. I went through the law enforcement academy and I, I had no issues there when it came to clutziness. And now, <laughs> once I hit 35, it's like, holy crap, I would not be able to survive in those industries. <laughs> <laughs> I would end up killing myself. <laughs> you almost end up killing yourself on a daily basis over random weird stuff. I do. <laughs> you choke on air, you choke on water, you choke on food, you <laughs> trip on stuff that's not I even do. there. <laughs> You know, it's, it amazes me that you can avoid the dogs and not trip and kill yourself. But if it's absolutely flat and there's nothing there, she's going down, man. <laughs> she I, is going down. I, I almost did it the other day. I was getting off the couch and, and took a step. <laughs> and I told you, my response to these questions is going to be just one word, me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I went to take a step and we have hardwood floors. And my foot went... <laughs> <laughs> right out from under me. There was nothing but the floor. Well, that's not true because the floor, no matter how much we clean it, has a very fine dusting of dog hair over it, which is very slippery when in contact with hardwood floor. And if you're wondering why I keep using air quotes, it's because it's not a hardwood floor. It is a composite snap click material that vaguely resembles a cheap hardwood floor. Either way, the dogs have to... Uh, it takes some time to gain traction. Yeah, so. it's pretty funny. <laughs> There's lots of skin going around. It's quite comical. But yeah, I, I did. I took a step and my foot almost slipped out from underneath Well, me. you said that one I can understand because that fine dusting of I dog hair. I normally don't is... have a problem with that. So what you're saying is as you age like a fine wine, your coordination goes down even further. Apparently. All right. <laughs> 
Okay, it sounds a bit nutty okay, to me. We've got oh. several. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And says, hey, a caffeine patch is a good idea. Yes, yes it is. I like it. Kimberly says, is preparing you for what's no. to come. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And Ed says, uh, actually, my allergies were so bad when I was a kid, my body grew extra sinuses to deal with them. Needless to say, a sinus headache turns into a raging Ouch. monster. Ooh, that does Ouch. not sound pleasant. And uh, Ann says, uh, grippy socks works great on smooth floors. Unless you got that fine dust in your dog hair. I'm not kidding. That stuff is like the slipperiest substance known to man. It is. It gathers and clings to like the bottom of your shoes and then you can ice skate out there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And, we, and it gets vacuumed like, you know, once or once or twice a day sometimes. It, yeah. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's like it's in the air and it just collects and it's like. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Yeah. What? And you missed one. I did? Wait, wait. Oh, there it is. Renee says, uh, yep, age and wine have a lot to do with it. Oh, see if you put that combination together. Are you drinking too much wine, Lois? Uh, no. <laughs> this is all before I drink wine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you were talking about how your klutziness gets in your way, of, you know, because of age and stuff, and it was about the age of 35. That is right around the time I started getting really bad allergies. Didn't have allergies my whole life. I, I, I was immune to everything. And then one day... So is it possible to just attempt to genetically and biologically skip 35 and just move to 36? <laughs> so you miss all that. Hey, You know what? That's a good question. I have to look into that. I like where you're going with that, though. Genetically modified. I am non-GMO free. <laughs> Definitely not organic, and I'm most certainly not gluten free. <laughs> oh my goodness! Anyways, <laughs> Ed says uh, I have four dogs. Dust mops work well. Yeah, not too bad. But I, for some reason, their stuff is just always airborne. It and is. as soon as you clean it up, it goes right back on it, the floor. It does. It's terrible. And Gina says uh, I know the pain of slippery floors and dog hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you what? And and. Um... And and the dogs received a Christmas gift from Mama Lois yesterday. Yes, they did. And those yes, are slippy. Yes, they I were. accidentally. Stuck They're on not them. just slippy. Those things take up a lot of real estate. Uh, they man. do. They do. They're huge. The, the dogs got uh, dog beds for their Christmas presents from Mama Lois, which is great. Except that Tigger likes to eat them. Uh, yes, yes. And then and you know the worst part about the eating is not the fact that she's eating them; it's cleaning up the mess afterwards. What are you talking about? I clean up the dog poop. Yes, but when I'm out there, I have to watch it go. (laughs) (laughs) You wanted to bring it up? Fine. I will go there. I will totally go there. Everybody that has a dog knows what a stringer is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And when you've got fluff stuffing and outer material, and and then the dog's freaking out because nothing's separating from the chute. It's like, no. And the dog's like, oh my God, oh my God. It's like, oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness! I'm just saying. See, and and by the way, for those of you who have not subscribed to Unplugged, yes, we we did film that. Uh, them uh, getting their beds, yes, yes, and us picking them up, yes, we did, uh-huh. and, and it was pretty funny. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> and Tigger's the one that eats the thing, and and it's because she's so comfortable. She has these like little flea bites that she does. She goes. <laughs> she does. And, uh, and she gets all comfy. And, she, and then eventually it just kind of wears a hole through it. And then she finds the stuffing. And then she finds the stuffing and, and she's like, oh, yeah. Stars. Yeah, she's like the Kool-Aid monster, man. Oh. Or the Slim Jim guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. And then she burrows off. And then we got to chuck it out. And then it just. Ugh. Yep. It's a nightmare, man. So, um, and, and Anne was asking, what did Mama Lois get the dogs? And, oh, um. Yeah. And she's asking what kind of dog beds. Big, right. fluffy, and, and slippery. <laughs> big, fluffy. <laughs> they're huge. Well, they you are. know, the dogs are big, and they're big enough to hold the dogs. So, and, you know, it, we don't have a lot of, of floor space, and now we have even less. <laughs> <laughs> but we are appreciative. Yeah, and, and they, so they do the love them. Yeah, they they, yes, them. yes. Which is unusual, because the last time they had dog beds, it took a lot of work to get them to stay on those darn things. It, it did. And this time, they're like, oh. <laughs> And then I was like, "All right, that works. Cool." Yeah, pretty much. 
And I think it's because they're like extra fluffy, but that worries me for other reasons. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. 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 That is not a pleasant mm. thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't want to go into the thing. <laughs> oh, and Renee's saying, I know exactly what that's all about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the stringers of doom. Sh- should I should I tell them my thing that grosses you out? No. Good Lord, no. Maybe un- unplugged all day. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah If you guys are interested in finding out what this behind the hat unplugged thing is, it's uh, behind the scenes of everything we do back here. We put out uh, stuff that is, you know, sometimes funny, it's sometimes silliness. crazy. Yeah, it's behind the scenes stuff. And it only costs you $10 a month, and all that money goes to help support the cause. Yes, it does. Which is uh, everything LPNN. Yes. Uh, and if you'd like to support in other ways, oh, with, with that, actually, you can uh, message us here on Facebook, or you can send us an email at lakepelnews at gmail.com if you're interested. Yes. But we also have swag. We do. We've got swag. As you can see here, I am wearing LPNN Z shirt. Uh, yes. Yes. Because I show my loyalty to the network. I showed mine yesterday. Yeah, he did. <laughs> you had a nice pink one. I did. I did. It's, it's all pink. Mm-hmm. We have uh, we have on Amazon. You can look up LPNN and find various shirts. Although some people say the sizing is kind of weird. Check out the sizing chart before you order. And uh, we also have uh, some stuff. Uh, let's see. We've got hoodies. We've got uh, we got coffee yoga mugs, pants, coffee mugs. We, we actually have the morning cup. So we do. If and, you watch the morning cup, bags. Yeah, yeah, we have to face them. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I was and, talking and about the morning cup because we're on the morning cup and they're watching the morning cup. So I was going into the morning cup. It's got this logo right here. <laughs> Running the show for <laughs> <different> purposes <laughs> only. It doesn't have this part up here, but it does have the Rupert. It, it does. Yeah, there is <laughs> it's got Rupert. Ah! Trying to get my head. <laughs> this is not. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's got this logo on the cup and on the back. It says hashtag RPT. It does. Which stands for. Rocket propelled turtle, which is how Rupert got his name <laughs> because it's Rupert. Yep. <laughs> oh, and um, other support. Um, we are looking for business sponsors for oh, all yes, the events. Yes. If you own a business and you'd like to sponsor one of the events coming up tomorrow or sponsor the whole day, let us know. Yeah. This show is brought to you by no one right now. <laughs> Except this. <laughs> this show brought to you by a rocket propelled turtle. Yeah, there you go. Um, Gina says, uh, I have dog beds and and one of my girls won't get on it. Yeah, we thought Tigger was going to do that yesterday. Yeah, because that's what they did with the last batch. Uh, Gina says, oh, okay. And then Anne says, uh, my cat takes over the big dog beds from the dogs. <laughs> Funny. They are afraid of her, and they're a shepherd and a new foundling. Yeah, you know, I've seen that, that before. That is funny. Cats, yeah, man, they can be species. species. <laughs> yeah. can I be agree species. with the dogs. Yeah. You know, the, the claws hurt. And the dog's like, but it's my man. And the cat's like, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Cats are evil. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. They're like um, mad little scientists, uh, man. They're like, I will take you out. Uh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, but I, I, I love cats. I, oh, I really yeah, do. I, do. I, I had, um, I've had a few I mean, cats. I love all animals. And I had a yes. cat that I loved to death. And your cat was amazing. Yes. But on, as a general whole, it's like, mm, yeah. As I'd rather have a dog. Not so much. I'd rather have a dog. And if you're not a dog person, well, pfft. <laughs> Uh, warning to show us for any table purposes only. Oh, Dave says, <laughs> David says, it, my wife says if I show my loyalty, I go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different problem, David. And I would recommend listening to your wife on this yeah, yeah. one. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> We don't need any salutes out in the open there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is wonderful. That is, that's a good one. <laughs> oh man. What a day. I oh my goodness. So okay, we were talking about cats. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I'm segueing real quick. We're into, not going into this because we got other stuff like we had to talk about last night. And I, I know, oh. but this this has to do with the cats being jerks. Oh. Okay. It, it does. Well, Fine. Uh, it, yeah. Get your mouse. Scroll on down. We're talking about cats. Do you want me to get a mouse? What? Oh, what? No. well, cats and mouse. Hell, mice. <laughs> 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 All right. Come here. Come so the mouse will not su- survive. Scroll down. Scroll down. Um, but bum. Where is it? I have no oh. idea, Lois. It's a mess. This one. This one. Yep. All right. So, so we were talking about cats being little jerks. And there are other animals out there that are jerks. <laughs> yes, this I have personal knowledge of. Yes, cer- certain animals 
are not nice. No, they're, they're not. And one of them is this particular one. Here's the headline for you. Driver saves child being chased by a Wisconsin turkey. Turkeys are vicious, man. Those that pinch, 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 pinch. Uh, oh, I, this mean. is when dinner attacks. Yes. <laughs> when dinner attacks. <laughs> Film of them. Seriously. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It is, it is. So go ahead and bring up the video real quick. And, and, seriously? And, All right. Hold and, on. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Oy. And then we'll go back to our other stuff. But um, I, I saw this uh, come across my feed several times, and one of the comments... Oh boy! <laughs> you can't laugh without telling people what's going on, Lois. Well, I have to. I have to remember the exact wording because I typed it up. Now it's covered. Oh. Geez. Um. So, uh, one of the comment, and I personally think it's the best comment. Okay. Is um my name is Turkey Montoya. You ate my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. That is hilarious. My name is Turkey Monday. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. I can totally see that. All right, so I'll go ahead and transition over so you guys can see this poor little bugger running for the hills. Yeah. <laughs> Turkey chases boy down the street. <laughs> well, horrifying. Hilarious, I'm sure. Here, here we are. Let's see. Oh, it's probably going to play an ad first. Yep. Uh, there it is. We have an ad. Look at it. Oh, my. Ads, ads. Oh, look, it's another senseless perfume ad. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, my God. I just said poor kid. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so, just wrong, so, so man. So this is like the cats chasing the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those turkeys. I'm not kidding. As as a, as a, a young child, um, I, I was uh, assaulted by more than one turkey. Those things are vicious, man. We had a neighbor that had a bunch of them. Okay. And they're like, oh, look, it's an ugly bird, but maybe it's friendly. Oh, yeah, I'm not get it off the high bird. Because they bite. <laughs> they're not nice. <laughs> and then they get that whole <laughs> thing going on where they're just like, and they start shaking and looking at you like. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No, I do you, not. Then you have not the had only, the full turkey experience. The That's only thing I know about turkeys is that they're stupid. They look up. When it rains and they end up drowning themselves. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? It's probably a good thing. I'm just saying. <laughs> because from what I have been told, I have not seen or experienced this. Mm-hmm. This is just, you know, growing up being told stories um, is when it rains because something is hitting them. They look up and open their mouths <laughs> and end up drowning. You know, I, I'm not sure if it's an urban legend or not. We'll have to look at it. I, I don't know. Will. We're going to show it for entertainment purposes only, not for <laughs> scientific purposes. Do not take anything we say at face value and do your own research. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Ed says, uh, message you guys a picture. Um, okay, I'll take a look at that. Uh, Carrie says uh, cats are mean and bipolar dogs rule. They're not bipolar. Uh, no, they're just evil. No, the, uh, no. One oh, of wait. the best things Uh-oh. that I have heard about cats, not it's not that they're bipolar. It's that they remember that they were worshipped as gods. <laughs> <laughs> damn you, Egyptians! Damn you! <laughs> No, <coughs> no. And says geese are mean. Yes, but they're not as mean as turkeys, and their bites don't hurt as much because their beaks aren't as pointy. But yes, <laughs> geese are vicious, man. Uh, Carrie says my turkeys are sweet, sometimes too sweet. Yeah, if they're raised by hand very well, then I do agree with you. Unfortunately, those are few and far in between. Um, this one, and um, I, I read the article. Uh, well, one of them. Um, this one was a wild turkey. Yeah, yeah, wild so, turkey. But the yeah. ones when I was a child, they were not. They were domestic. It, so it all depends on how much they've been around people and how much they get lovin's and stuff like oh, that. Oh, you mean like our dogs? <laughs> well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. It's and then uh, Carrie says, uh, <laughs> she says that uh, they don't bite. Uh, y'all probably chasing the same shiny object. <laughs> yeah, and then she probably. says, joking. <laughs> <laughs> and Ed says, uh, yeah, they still think they should be yep. worshipped. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I agree with that. <laughs> No. I, I really, I, I honestly believe that, mm-hmm. you know. Well, and there, there was another one of those I saw. You're talking about uh, cat mindset. Uh, and they have the difference between dogs and cats. And it goes with, like, uh, like when you got to change their cat box and stuff. And they look at you upon mm-hmm. as a servant 
that uh-huh. is that is serving their needs. Yes, take out my little box, it, it, and you okay. know, like that. And the dog's like, like, oh, and, and it's like, oh, I must be a god because the the humans are taking out my stuff. Uh, yes, and the dogs they're completely obvious. They're like, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no, it's, it's cute. I don't remember exactly how it went, but it's something uh, like yeah, that. yeah. It's, it's cute. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. So we were going to talk about. Let's see. What, last night. Yes. Uh, last night you almost died. How did I almost die? Uh, you almost froze to death. Oh, yes. okay. Yes, because we were outside. It was freaking cold. And we were outside, and the wind was blowing just a little bit, and you went. I was not the only one. I'm not saying you were lost. I'm just saying you almost didn't make it because you were freezing to death. I was not. So horrible the only one. There was a group. I just said you were I not know. the only one. Like I know. Twice. You I know. said it twice as I know, times. but we you're know. making fun of me. Yes, I there am. There was a group huddled together. I'm not <laughs> making fun of you. I'm making fun of all of you. <laughs> so if you were there... <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, what are you sure it's for any other purposes? Uh, but uh, no, yeah, it was, it, was, it was chilly outside and, it, it, and, and you were having issues. It wasn't chilly. It was freaking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I have like some kind of special immunity to temperature. I like have a layer of insulation right over the outside of my skin. And I can extend I, I can stand extreme hot and extreme cold way better than most people I know. So it's not your fault that that you're like everybody else, Lois. Either that or I can just ignore it further than most people. <laughs> what? I was thinking it's the beer. It's the beer? <laughs> No. Nope. That extra insulation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she talking about my butt, people. Lois, <laughs> Lois is making fun of my beer bag. <laughs> oh, man. I was just talking. Sound more like a seal is what he said. I got a layer of blubber to keep You're you warm. You're the one who said insulation. Man. I was talking about the air gap. You know what? Before... I gained this prestigious <laughs> bulbous thing down here. I was also I mean, actually I was more immune to it back then than I am now. Oh goodness! Back when I was I in the Marine Corps, I could take beer. extreme temperatures either way. It just didn't phase me. I still think it's the beer. I I think it's the how? beer has created an uh, an insulating layer. Okay, so how was it back, back body. in the No, because this is back in the day, man. Really, in the Marine Corps, you didn't drink beer. Not when I was out in the field for thirty days. Well, that is true. Just saying. It builds up. It oh, it builds up. up. <laughs> I drink so much of it that it just kind of sticks around. Well, thank you for letting our audience know that apparently I am some kind of alcoholic. <laughs> I do appreciate it, though. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Showing your love <laughs> to me. <laughs> like, I drink too much beer. <laughs> oh, oh, I see how it is. not <laughs> what I was meaning. <laughs> You know what? I choose to be offended by your statements, Lois. Oh, good Lord. Therefore, you must compensate me. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, back to the fact that you are a complete weakling when it comes to temperature changes. And if it's if it's above 80 or below 80, you're either hot or cold. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So anyway, it was chilly last night. We were going down a path. You derailed it and made fun of me. And now I choose to be offended. You were making fun of me. Now <laughs> Oh, she got vengeance. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> but I wasn't that mean. I was no, just making fun, but it was it was cold. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was <laughs> cold. It was freaking freezing. Yeah, it was cold. It, I think actually, I think it was below freezing. So <laughs> I guess you do have a little. And then there was there. a wind chill. Yeah, the wind did not make it nice. Mm-mm, I'll well, tell you what. It would have been better without it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Um, I think those are clouds. I was going to say, look at your phone. <laughs> yeah, that that's uh, blowing clouds. <laughs> and says, yeah, let us know how that is in 10 years. I'm not sure. Probably the fact Your that... insulation layer. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, no, I've always had just... just yeah, you're just me. weird. Yeah, I am weird. That, that's all that it is. You know, it, sometimes it can annoy me, but I'm not like, I'm going to die. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was cute, anyway. But yeah, so so we were going to the, the other Christmas party that, yes. that you had to go to, yes. which means I had to go to. Yes, yeah, pretty cool. much. And that was yeah. down at Antelope Point Marina. Yeah, I at the Jagatoa restaurant. I I couldn't remember what marina was that. I was bouncing between the two. Yeah, they're kind of on opposite <laughs> sides. So, I'm saying. 
So that, that ended up turning out to be a lot of fun. There was um. It was. They, oh, you didn't bring it in. What, what, what was uh, well, they had this cool little thing when you went in, and it was a uh, basically as a little tiny booth that had uh, a, a screen and a camera in it, and you could go in there and you could take little pictures. It was a photo booth. Yeah, a little photo booth. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure. My mind. Oh. <laughs> Man, you just you just on you me today. Why, do you know why I giggle and laugh and do all this stuff with you? No. Uh, because I don't get that very often. Normally, you don't leave doors open like that. <laughs> so I have to take the opportunity when it presents itself. Fun, <laughs> fun, fun. I see how it is. But anyway, so, so there was this little photo booth. <laughs> Jeez, Lois. You're just messing with my mojo today. I'm telling you. So anyway, there's this little photo booth, kind of like the old-fashioned ones. You, you remember, you know, you put in change, you go in, and you hit a button, and it would take a little yep. strip of pictures. Well, they had one of those there, except it was the modern 21st century version of it, where you touch a touch screen, and it would take pictures, and then you could add After Effects and do stuff. They had silly, like, glasses and, uh, they did. and headbands and all kinds of craziness, and you get pictures, and then it would print it out right there. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. It was. Do you remember what the name of it was? No, oh, I have okay. the business card, though. Uh, well, it's too late, then. It is. I thought you brought it. Uh, no, okay. you didn't tell me I needed to. Well, it just popped in there. <laughs> and you're <laughs> supposed to be psychic. Oh, oh. <laughs> now okay. I'm being a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, for those of you out there that don't know, not just uh, guys are not psychic, women are not psychic. If you want to know, ask. <laughs> not just saying, or if you want the other person to know something, tell them. Don't think that they should know. Well, okay, I do have... Well, you're sure it's very Don't listen to this sound advice. And you should never take it unless you want to try and actually be communicative with everybody. Oh, oh boy. Oh, <laughs> See, now, now, okay, let's say I was psychic. You don't want to be psychic. No, there is. On. You don't want to get in this hold sphere on. of reality. I'm just saying. Hold on. <laughs> let's say I was psychic. Okay. It'd be a little too late anyway for me to go get it because you said that idea just popped into your head now. So you should be psychic and you should be able to predict the future. Okay. <laughs> so now you need two abilities to be able to function in my world. Wow. Because my world is my reality. No. Therefore, you have to be what I think it is. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Renee's asking where your worms are. Aww. Aww. Nobody loves me. I ate them all, them. actually. <laughs> she ate my worms. She ate my worms. I did. I, ha I, I have a gummy addiction. Yeah, she does have a gummy addiction, oh man. <laughs> Jeff, freaky, man. What? That reminds me. Yeah, oh, right. oh, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, so hold on. <coughs> they don't understand the level of your gummy addiction. <laughs> If, if we accidentally somehow purchased one of those five-pound bags of gummy bears, it's gone in one sitting. Not one sitting. It takes a bit. I've seen one sitting. It's gone. Uh, no. Yes. No. I have It's before. not one sitting. It's one day. That would be one sitting <laughs> for that day because, you know, it's like a, like a Netflix and chill day. Just like, and then well, eating the gummies. Uh, no, it's you know? just uh, throughout the day. It, it disappears. <laughs> Whatever. Either way, those things are dangerous. See, there's there are a lot of people that keep snack foods and things like that in the house. We don't do that because we eat them. Uh, yes. And they're... Uh, no. Uh, because if you eat them, uh, then uh, it's bad for you. And, it, it is. And, and yeah. yeah. So if Especially we buy the gummy bears... We stop walking. She will eat the gummy bears. I will. I will. Anything gummy. Well, yeah. not anything gummy, but... <laughs> Most things gummy. All right. So anyway, that is the, to segue into the thing that you've been wanting to talk about. Uh, hold on. No, that, 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 that occurred to me with the mention of, I have a gummy addiction. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you wanted to bring this up. What was it? Yesterday. I did. Yesterday. I did. But uh, we, we got on to rambling other stuff. Um, but uh, no, I, I had a dream the other night. And I normally don't remember any of my dreams. Yeah, no. Um, it's a very, very rare occasion that I remember my dreams. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> so something was going on. I was having, apparently I was having really bad sinus issues. And in my dream, I was trying to figure out how to fix them. And without I, all them. <laughs> yeah, without, you know, <laughs> cutting them out. And uh, I decided, hey, we need to open a, what are they called? A green relief thing. 
uh, a marijuana shop. Oh, the dispensary. And the dispensary. And the dispensary. Okay. We need to open a dispensary. And so I started making gummies. I don't do any of this, by the way. <laughs> That's why this dream is hilarious, because it's yeah. like, what? <laughs> and so I started making gummies. Chris was, and this is a dream, Chris was having issues, and I snuck a gummy into a baked potato, which, by the way, maintained its gumminess through the cooking process. <laughs> so you drugged me with a dispensary gummy is what you're telling I me. I did. And in my dream, you were so upset that I drugged you without your... Let me tell you something right now. It's not just in your dream. There it is. Mm-mm. No. No, uh, no, no. Well, I realized that, which makes it even funnier because it's not something I would do. Um... So, I just, yeah, I don't, such know, a weird... I don't know what triggered that dream. I don't know. Oh, you were triggered? Maybe you're turning into a snowflake? Oh, no. Ah! I used the T word. <laughs> Oi. But, yeah, I, I don't know what went on to cause that dream. I don't know. I, it just, it, it was a random And the fact thing. that you remembered it makes it even funnier. And, and, and scarier. <laughs> there are very few dreams that I remember that are that off the wall. <laughs> Carrie says, I used to be a gummy fanatic until I seen how they're made. Yeah, I know. I don't want to know. You know what's even better than the other ones? is bliss. Yeah, pretty much. I know exactly how they're made. So I like them, but only in small doses because then I start thinking about it. Nope. Do not ruin it for me. And don't get all natural ones. Oh, that's even worse. But anyway. Don't ruin it for me. Apparently, we're, oh man, we're we're almost out of time. Yeah, we are. So so talking about the gummy thing. So the worst gummies apparently on the planet. You can buy them on Amazon, and they're the the sugar free kind. Yeah. I remember reading about this. Yeah, you can actually go on Amazon.com and you can look up these the sugar free gummies. And then it's like a five pound bag or something, and start reading the reviews on those things. Apparently, it's like the equivalent of taking that stuff. Lestra. Oh, less <laughs> No, I was going to go with that stuff that you have to drink to get a colonoscopy. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Where it just cleans out I your system. I wonder if that's how they made it sugar-free. <laughs> <laughs> they just added that stuff in there. <laughs> it's gummified. Oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should check that. If you want to laugh, go to Amazon.com and look up the sugar-free gummies and start reading the reviews in the oh. comments because they are a riot. They are. They are. Yeah, people just, are losing their their minds. leap over there. No, because it's even funnier. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go here. All right, guys. That's all we have time for today. Do we have any? Let me see if I got any more comments. No, we don't. All right. So anyway, uh, that's all the stuff we have uh, time for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking commenting and sharing on all these videos. We really do appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed tonight, today's morning cup. If you did tonight, don't forget to share it. Yes, please. <laughs> better <laughs> better <laughs> than no, I'm on a roll job. of babblery. Oh, like a jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> a little wobbly. <laughs> Lois has just gotten the jokes today. All right, guys. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have an amazing day. And we'll see you on the next one. Yes. <laughs> Who's ready for some rope? <laughs>